Hi there and welcome to Salt Hill show number six. It's going to be an exciting show because we're actually going to glue this thing together and get a look at how it's going to look. So uh, I'm going to show you the components here and then we're going to talk about the plan and then we're going to glue it up. So the sides are here, nothing different about them. Um, here's the other one. I've, uh, I've put two dados in the bottom of our board here. You've seen me make dados before, so I went ahead and did them. Uh, these are going to house the dividers for our three drawers that go across the bottom of the saw till. So there they are. The dovetails are finished up and everything's been fitted, so we're ready to go. Um, I want to show you something here. This is the top rail that goes across the top. I laminated another board onto it. This rail looks very similar to this one, but it has an additional piece laminated onto it, and I'll show you why. Um, put this together. If you look along the back here, this piece here, this is our backer board. This fits in like that and it completes the, uh, completes the uh, arrangement. Um, just gives us room for the backer board. So that is that. Good there. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I want to show you a problem I had. Um, my tenons, one of my tenons I made a little too thin. If you cut them too thickly, you can plane them down to fit the mortise. This was cut too thin and I was kind of in a jam. I didn't know what to do. You've got to add material. So what I did, the solution was, I got some of this stuff at my local woodcraft store. It's veneer and uh, it's just thin sheets, in this case maple, the color matched. Is that? I like to show you all three sides. <laughs> okay. And it's about a 32nd of an inch thick. And uh, what I did was I cut out a little piece like that with an X-Acto blade and I put it right on top. I glued it onto my tenon cheek, clamped it real well and real evenly, and then when it was dry, I trimmed it off with a sharp knife. And uh, there's the repair. I don't think you can probably even see that. Maybe on the end grained a little bit there you can see it. Mm -hmm. But um, that, I think, is a great solution to the problem. Uh, I think this was $8 for the whole pack. There's five pieces of this stuff in here. And I'm hoping that's a uh, lifetime supply. It better be. So, um, so uh, a good way to fix your tenons. I could have stacked these if I wanted to. I'd made two layers if I really screwed up. So uh, I think that was a good solution. So there we are with that. Um, what else? I'm going to be using my favorite glue, hide glue. Uh, and that's to give me more working time. Uh, one thing I've learned with uh, glue-ups is you want to make sure you plan everything ahead of time. You don't want any surprises. You don't want to be stuck with your glue setting up and putting the wrong tenon in the wrong mortise and having some sort of horrible nightmare situation. I don't want this to turn into a situation where I end up throwing this into a wood chipper in anger. Um, and then we could call it wood chipper show number six. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Wood Chipper Show number six. <laughs> Today we're turning my project into mulch for the garden in the wood chipper. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm going to get set up here for the glue up, and then I think we're, uh, we're going to have some fun with the glue. Okay, we're back and we're all set here. You see I've made some preparation, um, and I think I've thought this out pretty well. Uh, we do need to move fairly quickly, so uh, I've heated up my hide glue a little bit in hot water, uh, and I think we are ready to go. I even have my glasses. Okay, here we go. Sit back, enjoy yourself while I scramble like a monkey.
Okay. Ugh. Some people use like a popsicle stick, and I think that works good. I just happen to have these brushes, which I've gotten used to using. They're like a flexible paddle, kind of. That's that. I'll set this here. I like to glue both sides. Oh, I think I'm probably doing a little too much glue, but. Uh, Nice thing about high glue, you can kind of wipe it off pretty easily. Over there.
Okay. I find these calls work pretty good. Some people say they're a waste of time. I don't agree. They don't take that time, much time to make. And they give me a certain amount of peace of mind. So I like using them. You got that? Can you hold that right there? Mm -hmm. Good, thank you. Can you see? Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's do a quick check of square here. Wow, I'm always amazed. When you're working with dovetails, mortises, and tenons, if you take the time to get everything square, when you glue it all up, it stays square. So I'm happy with that. That looked right on to me. Um, so whew, we're going to take a break, but I think the glue up's done. And when we come back, uh, we'll have a, have a look at it. Okay, it's been 24 hours and the glue's dry and it's time to take the clamps off. I prefer using clamps with dovetails. I think it gives me a lot more control closing the gaps of the dovetails. And you'll notice I'm very careful not to over tighten my clamps so that I don't get anything out of square. Also, I really like using these calls. They're easy to make. And I actually reuse these little blocks of wood each time I make uh, new dovetails. But it's well worth the trouble, I think, uh, and makes the dovetails go together much easier. So there we are. I think it looks great. I'm really happy with it. And uh, it looks like uh, we won't be going to the wood chipper, at least this time around. So anyway, we're out of time. Where does the time go? But uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, when we come back, can you see this, this camera lady? Uh, when we come back, we're gonna be putting this piece in here, this board across here to make the drawer section. We're putting dividers in here for the drawers and uh, it's really coming together. Looking good. Thank you for stopping by and see you next time. Wasn't that great?